Yeah, I think that you bring up a great point about viral video and everybody seems to want that home run or even beyond the home run video, but that's not realistic. Those things happen organically and, and to try and force them is usually a disaster. Yeah. And really what's important are the basics, the basics of, you know, of um, executing a marketing plan uh, and if you f if you stick to those basics and communicate what you want to communicate the results come I mean it's um, yeah. it's it's I would much rather follow a plan that executes really well on the basics than I would to abandon those in the attempt to go after the shiny object you know it's it's classic classic mistake the viral video is like you know the football team that says, well, I saw that team throw 75 yards and run it into the end zone. Let's do that. Yeah. And you're like, well, I also saw another team run 10 yards every single time they got the ball. Right. I want to do that. Yeah, the viral video is like <laughs> having a terrible football team with one star player. Yeah. Right. And that star player can't do anything because he has no team support. The quality video is where you do everything from the foundation up and everybody plays their role and it gets the job done. And viral, the viral nature of a video is just one measure. It's just how many people watched it. It's not a measure of what they did. As soon as you start <laughs> creating something, you want to know absolutely for sure that you're creating the right video that's going to get the right result. And when you're done, you want to look back and say that was the right video and it achieved the right result.